Hi guys, uh, welcome to the first of what I hope will be many of these little um, vlogs, blogs, whichever you want to put it. Um, I decided it's maybe time to get to the times a little bit. Um, I know that <laughs> reading for some reason has become a little bit of an outdated thing. People can't be bothered nowadays, which is a shame, but unfortunately true. So I've decided I'm going to change my approach a little bit so that you guys get the information that you need from me. Um, and it doesn't put you to too much inconvenience, shall we say. <laughs> okay, right, so the first one, this one is going to be about basically why um, a lot of you maybe struggle with the medium, you know, why you struggle with watercolour. Right, it might surprise you the answer to this, but it's actually very, very simple. And it's because of the 101 rules that you impose upon yourself before you even pick up the paintbrush. Okay, think about that for a second. When you were learning, some of you might still be, um, you, you read books, you watch DVDs, maybe take a few classes, you know, at, um, at evening school. Now, what you will have noticed right from the very offset is a lot of this. You can't do this, you can't do that. Rules, rules, rules. Oh no, God forbid, you can't use opaque white on there. No, 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 no. Always use sable brushes, always use cotton rag, watercolour paper, you know, regardless of how much it costs. Always use artist quality paints, never ever use opaque colours. Rules, 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 you know, there's lots of this, lots of it, unfortunately. Now, why on earth do the teachers who are trying to teach people the medium Put this on you, you know, it's setting you up to fail right from the very, very start. For anybody out there that's tempted to have a go with watercolour, but has read a couple of the books and thought, oh, that looks really complicated, just listen to one piece of advice, okay? Now, this is the advice that I give to in every single demonstration and workshop that I do. Uh, I do demonstrations and workshops up and down the country for art clubs, and I always make a point of saying this, okay? Ignore the rules and just paint. Okay, I'll say that again, just so you get it. Ignore the rules and just paint. Okay, my approach is quite simple. Anybody can paint in watercolour. Anybody, if they have the right approach. And if needed, the right tuition. My approach, right from the very beginning, was a little bit different because of the artists that I chose to follow. Um, one of which was John Blockley. Some of you may have heard of him. Um, if you haven't, look him up, go on to Google, do a Google search on John Blockley artist. Uh, see the type of stuff he does. And if you can't get a couple of his books, although they're a bit pricey nowadays. <laughs> um, right, basically his approach was bordering on the rebellious. He was definitely not a traditional watercolourist. Now, traditional watercolourists have this approach, this outdated notion that watercolour is a sketch medium. Okay? And the way to approach watercolour is to work on little sheets of paper, you know, cotton rag paper, I might add. You have to use sable brushes as well, and you delicately apply, you know, a never ending series of transparent watercolour glazes. So you build up to, you know, the subject sort of thing. This is complete nonsense. Nonsense! Because it's still going along with the idea that watercolour is a sketch medium. It is something, it is a prelude. You know, your painting is a prelude to a, another painting in a more professional medium. Acrylics, oils, you know, whatever. Um, it's absolute nonsense. With watercolour today, you can you know, produce fantastic dramatic, vibrant, atmospheric paintings that will look exactly the same in 200 years time as they do the day that you finish them. Um, there is no reason for people to view this as a sketch medium because it isn't. Okay? It's not. And with the correct approach, you can show that. I suppose what I'm boiling it down to is if you approach it the same way as everybody has always approached it, you will get the same results. Whereas, if you change your approach slightly and look at it as, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the result that I want, 
then you will find that your results improve drastically, very, very quickly, okay? So forget the rules, you know, the way you don't. Get rid of them or learn when to ignore them. And just paint, have fun. That's why you took up the medium in the first place. That's why you started to paint, wasn't it? It was to have fun. That's why I started painting. I'm still having fun um, because I choose to ignore the rules. If I get to the end of a painting and I think, right, to set it off, I really need to have some highlights and no shoulders there. Oh dear, I didn't reserve them. Well, that's it. No, I'll use a bit of white. No, I'll use a bit of white. Thou shalt not use white. What's the problem? You know, I get the result that I want and anybody who's viewing the painting will see it in the light that I want them to see it. They will see the picture that was in my head. And that's, that's the important thing at the end of the day. Not whether you followed the rules or not. The, the people buying the paintings don't care about the rules. They don't care if you followed every single rule in the rule book to get to that picture. If they think it's rubbish, then that's not going to change it. If they think it's a fantastic painting, again, it's not going to change it whether you followed the rules or not. If you say, well, actually, I'm really sorry, but I didn't 100% follow the Bible or watercolour, um, oh, right, well, I'm not going to buy that painting then. It's not going to happen, is it, realistically? They love the picture. They're going to buy it anyway. And that's regardless of whether you followed the rules. So maybe we should all start adopting this approach from the beginning. You know, okay, these are the rules. I know them, but I choose not to follow them sometimes. Because sometimes you need to ignore the rules to get the result you want. Besides, think about it. Since when did art have rules? Okay, um, art is supposed to be about freedom of expression, self-expression, I might add. Okay, your painting's an expression of you, your uniqueness, if you want to put it that way. Um, how can you be unique if you're following 101 rules that somebody else set? Ignore the rules, just paint, and you'll find that you progress much, much quicker with the medium, you'll have much more fun, and you'll find it a lot easier to loosen up. And being loose is what it's all about with watercolour. Okay, um, I'm not trying to offend any purists here. I just want you to be aware of the fact that there is a different approach to the medium that is becoming more accepted nowadays. Um, and because of this different approach, it means you can get different results to the traditional wishy-washy, sketchy watercolours, if you want to put it that way. You can produce vibrant, powerful, dramatic, atmospheric paintings. Change your approach and you'll notice the results speak for themselves. Okay? Right, anyway, without all further ado, art is about self-expression. I'm off to self-express with my own paintbrushes. And that sounded terrible, didn't it? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I'm off to, to paint. Okay, I'm off to paint. I suggest you maybe do the same. And um I'll speak to you next time when we'll have a little different subject. Um, another little thing that will maybe help you progress a little bit quicker. Okay? Anyway, thanks now. Bye!